You may remember our reporting last week on almost 10 tonnes of hazardous waste from TY Point's aluminium smelter, so-called Uvia Premix, that was at risk from the flooding in Southland. Gore District Council had said they'd managed to reach a handshake deal to get it moved from Matoda to TY Point, but now that agreement has been overruled by Rio Tinto. Our Otago Southland reporter Timothy Brown has the story. As the floodwaters rose around Matoda last Wednesday, widespread evacuations were ordered. Many residents believe it was due to the threat of water mixing with the Uvia premix and letting off a cloud of ammonia gas. Late last week, Gore District Council's Chief Executive, Steve Perry, announced plans to move the dross from the mothballed paper mill in the town. But today, he's not so happy. It was agreed uh, by the three people in that room, including Stuart Hamilton, that I would make the statements that I did and we went through the points. And it was agreed in the public interest that we should make a statement as opposed to saying we're in negotiation and there's no no details we can give you. Rio Tinto owns a majority stake in the smelter at TY Point. And Steve Perry says he's devastated the agreement, which he claims they verbally made, has fallen through. Quite keen to get that um, dross out of there. It's uh, a very big concern to the community in Matara. So to find that you've been... um, Tipped at the post by superiors who don't see the the need to act with uh, urgency uh, and don't see the need for them to get further involved in providing a solution is, yeah, devastating and very disappointing. The Chief Executive of New Zealand Aluminium Smelters, Stuart Hamilton, wasn't available for an interview today, but in a statement said they had fully cooperated with the Gore District Council in removing material from Matoda and committed $1.75 million to the process. The statement did not address whether a handshake deal was agreed or if anything would be done to expedite the removal of the dross following last week's floods. The dross was moved into Matolda's disused paper mill, as well as other sites around Southland, by Taha Industries in 2014. That company went into liquidation in 2016, and the dross sat in the factory until a deal was cut last year between the government and local councils to move the product over six years. Gore District Mayor Tracy Hicks is gutted at what's transpired. It's, uh, it's something that came from their place. It was being processed by their contractors. Their contractors left it in the site it's in now and uh, left us literally in the lurch and not knowing what to do with it. But nobody seemed to want to take responsibility. We've had to dig our um, hands in our pockets on behalf of ratepayers and residents and just needs to be gone sooner rather than later. Sort out the Dross Action Group spokesperson, Cherie Chapman, is also angry at Rio Tinto. That community has had a gutful of that Dross being a risk to their health. And there are so many anecdotes about people who are getting sick, people who have worked with it and getting sick, and fear about what would happen if it got into the river. Steve Perry says last week's flooding demonstrated the risk the waste presented. Every time we get a flood uh, warning, you you break yourself. You know that's a that's a prime risk. We know that, um, and it was deeply worrying as we um, tried to plan our um, reaction to the rising flood waters and and the scenarios running through your mind is what might happen. Uh, so, yeah, we all want the stuff gone. Um, and one of the misconceptions out there is that somehow the council agreed to get the stuff to be put in there in the first place. Not at all. It was put in there in the dead of night unlawfully by a company that's since gone into liquidation and and the culprits um, took off to Bahrain. Sort out the dross is holding a community meeting in Matoda on Friday night. Mr Perry says someone linked to the smelter needs to front up and explain the situation to locals. For Checkpoint, Timothy Brown.